Welcome to Yoga with Brie. I'm Brie, and today on the channel, I have the second of a three-part series for you that's going to be yoga for beginners. So in this series specifically, we're going to work on Sun Salutation B, which is a really great warm-up for the whole body, and also includes several of the foundational poses in yoga. So we're going to learn the foundations of those postures and good alignment for those poses, and find a little bit of movement with the breath to feel really good in the body, meditatively moving. So put on something comfortable, grab a yoga mat if you have one, and let's begin. So we'll begin this one starting at the top of the mat, inhale to reach the arms up, and we're just going to do a few spinal rolls. So start to roll your way down, almost like you're moving vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. And then inhale to a halfway lift. We did this in the previous video, and this will be a little bit different. You're going to bend the knees and round the spine to roll up. And then inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And then as you exhale again, roll down the spine. You can even have the hands travel down the fronts of the body, legs as you move down, and then bend the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, and exhale, forward fold. Again, bend your knees and round your back. Start to roll up, kind of like you're stacking vertebrae, vertebrae, vertebrae. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, start to take it back down. So you're just rolling and warming up the spine and the hamstrings. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Good. Bend the knees, round the back, roll it up. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, this time hands to heart center. We'll start sun B, sun salutation B, with the feet together in a chair pose. So with your feet together, bend your knees and sink your hips down low, almost like you were sitting on a bench back behind you. And you'll have the arms up by the ears, but not so much so that the neck feels scrunched. So relax the shoulders away from the jaw. Take a big inhale. And when you're ready to exhale, you'll forward fold over the legs. Inhale again to halfway lift, and we'll step back to plank. In the previous video, we did knees down and lowered to the belly, and we're going to do that same sequence here. As you inhale, you'll lift into your low cobra. And then as you exhale, you'll tuck the toes, lift to a table and then lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Nice, so this first one, we're gonna step the right foot forward. You can bend the knee, bring it to the chest and try stepping the foot as close to the hands as you can. Put your left heel down on the floor and lift your arms up. This is your warrior one. That left heel is on the floor and you're trying to draw your right hip back just a little bit and left hip forward. Think of squaring your hips and your shoulders to the front of your mat. That right knee is stacked over the right heel, so bend deep into that lunge. Good, and then big inhale through the nose. You might look up towards the hands, and with an exhale, we usually land or fall on exhales. You'll plant the palms and step back. And again, maybe bringing the knees down, lower your body to the floor. On your inhale, lift your chest, and with your exhale, you fall, you come back down. We'll inhale to rise to table tuck the toes, and then exhale, you do lift the hips here into downward facing dog. We'll do the other side by stepping the left foot forward. So now the right heel is on the ground and the left knee is stacked over the left heel. Once you reach your arms up, you might take the hands to the hips for a moment, work on squaring the hips to the front of the mat, shoulders to the front of the mat, and then the arms can come up. Big breaths through the nose. Good, another inhale, maybe you look up towards the hands as you breathe in, and as you exhale, hands fall down, left foot steps back to plank, and then maybe knees come down, or maybe you keep the knees lifted this time as you lower the body down. Inhale to lift the chest, cobra. Exhale, lower the chest, tuck the toes, and lift the hips up to down dog. Good, five breaths in downward facing dog. We did child's pose in the previous video, the first of this three part series. So if you haven't already practiced that one, I recommend going to that one so you know some of the postures that we're doing here. And we'll take just a couple more breaths in down dog. Nice, bend your knees and look forward and you can step your feet to the top of the mat for your forward bend. On your inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, key is moving with the breath here, fold. Inhale, back to chair, reach the arms up. And then come all the way up to stand. Bring the hands down to heart center. We're gonna go through a second round of that. Sun B, inhale to chair. This time right away, exhale to forward fold. Inhale takes you up halfway. 
and then exhale, step the feet back. Again, you can bring the knees to the floor or lower all the way down without them. On your inhale, rise, lift the chest. And as you exhale, fall, lift up to table, and then lift up to down dog. Knees and hips will both rise. This time you can step the foot forward or lift the foot before you step it through. It doesn't have to come that high. <laughs> and then step it between the palms. Inhale to reach the arms up. I have a dance and gymnastics background, so it's a little bit easier on the flexibility, but if your legs don't lift as high and you wanna try that out, you're welcome to. We'll step back, lower down, and then on your inhale, lift the chest. As you exhale, lower down, tuck the toes, rise up to downward facing dog. So same thing, other side. As you inhale, either step the foot forward or lift the leg to stretch, and then step it through. On your inhale, again, you'll rise up to warrior one. That back heel is smushing the mat, so right heel is pressing down, left knee is bent deep. On an exhale, you'll bring your hands down and step to plank. Knees or no knees, lower to the belly, exhale. Inhale, low cobra, maybe up dog. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. Toes can tuck, hips rise up. If you're familiar with chaturanga, that can be done there too. We're gonna hold again for five breaths as a resting pose. So if this is feeling like it's strenuous, take a child's pose here. And again, we touch on child's pose in part one of this three-part series. We'll take a big inhale through the nose, bend the knees, look forward. As you exhale, step or leap, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Good, chair pose with your inhale. So completing that pattern, same pattern as before. As you exhale, you'll rise to stand. We're gonna do one more time through, this time one breath per movement. So settling on the feet, take a big inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward bend. The whole inhale to halfway lift and the whole exhale, long exhale to step back and lower down. Good, now untuck the toes, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes, rise up, downward facing dog. Now inhale, either step through or lift the leg and then step through. We do rise on an inhale, so back heel comes down. You have the whole inhale to rise up, warrior one. Let it blossom open, and then as you exhale, plant the palms down. It's a nice slow breath through the nose. Step back and lower down. Good, on your inhale, low cobra, maybe up dog. Excellent, as you exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. So it's one breath, inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, step it through. On inhales, we rise. So plant that back heel to root down, rise up, let it unfold with the whole breath in. And then the whole breath out, you have to come back down, step back to plank. You might take an inhale and plank and then exhale to lower down, knees or no knees. Inhale, low cobra back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, five breaths to rest. And if you wanna bring the knees down here for a moment and rest on the knees or in child's pose, this is a good opportunity to take a more conscious breath and more of a resting pose if that's gonna be what's best for you. Beautiful. Most importantly is your breathing. Bend the knees, look forward. We'll finish the cycle out as you hop or step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Good, bend the knees, lift the chest, last chair. And then exhale, rise up to stand. And I'm gonna turn on my mat here. You're welcome to stay centered and focused straight forward if you'd like, or you might turn to face the video if you're not already. Well done on that <laughs> celebration. Um, we're gonna practice tree pose. So this is a good balancing pose. It's a great way to start or begin balancing postures. And you also might have a hand on the wall to support your balance. So if you wanna move to a wall, you can move to a wall. Bring the hands together to heart center to begin. If you have one hand on the wall, one hand will be at heart center. And you're gonna take your right knee into the chest and start to circle that ankle around, rolling out the joint, getting some mobility, now going the opposite direction. To begin your tree, even if you're familiar with tree and you go in with the hand, we're gonna do it without the hand first and then adjust with the hand just so you get that work of using the musculature of the hip and legs to place the foot first and then you can use your hand and adjust it. We're gonna push the foot into the thigh or the calf, not the knee, and push the thigh or the calf back into the leg. 
So it's almost like you've created a clamp between your foot and your thigh. If your ribs are thrusting forward here, I'm showing this, you'll tuck the ribs down so that you have an engaged core and then elongate the chest and the spine. So lower ribs stay knit into the abdomen. Strong core. Good, deep inhale. Stay with the exhale. Good, we're gonna land it so gently. So turn your knee forward and like you have nowhere to be, softly, soulfully land that right foot and then shake it out, nice. Get some movement in your, in your limbs now. So if you had some rigidity in the body, shake that out and get some fluidity there. You might neck roll or shoulder roll. Good, and then back to both feet. Stretch your arms out and place your hands together at heart center. You might have a hand on the wall here. Either hand is fine. Probably the right hand this time, actually. We're going to lift the left knee into the chest and roll that ankle around. Good. And even though we know the side, we're still going to take it slow. Reverse those circles. And before you use the hand, place the foot not on the knee, but above the knee or below the knee. And then you can adjust it if you want using the hand. Push the foot into the leg, leg into the foot, kind of like a clamp. And then zipper that energy up through your spine, up through your center channel. You might reach the arms up. If it helps to keep the hands at heart center, keep the hands at heart center. And you know that you're keeping your lower ribs knit into your abdomen. I tried to look up there. If you want to test your balance and look up, you're welcome to. If you fall, take your time getting back into it. So move mindfully back into it. And we're gonna, I'm going to go for it one more time, reaching the arms up. You may or may not try to look up towards the hands here. And then turn the knee forward and very thoughtfully place that left foot next to the right foot with patience and care. Good. Shake out your limbs. Nice done. Nicely done. <laughs> Shake it out. Dance it out. Jump it out. Kick it out. Good. And then recenter yourself. Take a big inhale to bring the hands together at heart center. And then bowing head intelligence towards the heart intelligence. We'll take the thumb knuckles to the chest, bow the forehead forward, stretch the back of the neck, and well done. So that's an excellent flow that you can do to warm up the whole body and to learn some of the key postures of yoga. It's a really great way to practice the art of moving with the breath or meditative movement. And so if you liked this video, please repeat it. Please give it the thumbs up so that it's easy to come back to and you can show your support. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and I'll bring you more videos soon. Thanks.